You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As today's Bible, July 10th, 2021, this preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'll be reading the narration that will be outcast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's Bible verse, Romans chapter 12, verse 10 to 17. Love one another with brotherly affection. Undo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. You are listening to KZT Cornerstone Online Live. My name is Newton Ha. As for today's Bible, July 10th, 2021, this is preached by Pastor Joseph Park. I'll be reading the narration that will be autocast through Facebook and YouTube channels. Today's Bible verse, Romans chapter 13, verse 8 to 14. Owe no one anything except to love each other. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covey, and that any other commandment are summed up in this word. You shall love your neighbors as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is a fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know the time that the hour has come for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearing to us, now than when we first believed. The night is far gone, the day is at hand. So then let us cast out the works of darkness, and put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly, as in the daytime, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and sexuality, not in quarreling and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make no provision for the flesh, to gratify its desires.